guys, welcome back to another video. I am Tamika, if you are new, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. In today's video, I am talking everything that you need to go on your externship with. So let's get into it. So, hi, first things first, let me introduce myself. My name is Tamika and I am cute. <laughs> I'm just joking, it's not that type of video. The first thing that you're going to need on your externship, you need a folder. A folder is to keep everything organized and you can have your paperwork that the hospital gives you or your, um, you know, your site gives you, worksheets, things of that nature. Um, and also you could keep track of all your notes that you take. You need a folder. Get yourself a folder. They're only like, what, 59 cents, a dollar, a dollar fifty at the most. But if you want a really cute one, you might pay like three bucks for it. But um, Amazon, I'm pretty sure they sell a pack for them. I'll link some down below. Um, next thing you're going to need, you're going to need a notebook. A handy dandy notebook. I got this one. It's really cute. For $3 at Big Lots. And you're going to take a ton of notes at your externship site. Don't just stand there like a bump on the log. If, you're, if your instructor or your lead tech is talking to you, take notes. We want to see that you guys are engaged. We want to see that you guys are interested. We want to see that we're not wasting our time teaching you. So, folder, notebook. The next thing you're going to need is a, let me put it on. You see all these things here? And it's retractable. You see that? It never leaves your side. It's a badge retractable with all these pens on it. You have a Sharpie, just in case you need to mark something. It's right there at your hands. And a highlighter, just in case you need to highlight. <laughs> just in case you need to highlight something. Is right there very convenient very close by you don't have to go look for a pen or a pencil or anything to write nothing down you don't need anything to highlight comes with a little pretty little tassel that matches the retractor what is it badge holder matches the badge holder um, you could put your badge right here on the little clippy thing and it also comes with a multi-function pen so you got a blue pen you got a green pen, you got a black one, a red one, a blue, like I said. And if you don't want it attached to this, you can also just take this off. But I find it very convenient to walk around the hospital with these on because everything, you don't know, you might go up to a patient, patient's room, you need a pen. You may need to take down a message, you have the pen right there. You need to take notes because your lead tech is telling you something. It's right there accessible to you. Um, by the way, little plug, I sell these on Etsy for $6. I'll leave it down there in the description box. But these are so handy for nurses, ultrasound techs, rad techs, whoever, students, everything is right here at you. So get that. You need some lotion because you're gonna be washing your hands a lot and make sure that your little pockets are tucked with hand sanitizer as well as some lotion because I kid you not, you don't wanna, my hands have gotten so dry with all this alcohol we're putting on them. The next thing is a water cup. Make sure you have a water cup. Make sure that you are staying hydrated at work. And you also need a cute mask. Mask, mask, mask. Can't stress that enough. Um, if the hospital or establishment that you're at, clinic, don't have an N95, wear an N95. I know that it's, oh man, we're over masked. But we work with patients very close up. If you're in CT or if you're in MRI, I would say, you know what? One mask is good. But you don't want to expose yourself and then come home and expose your family. So protect yourself. Wear one, two masks. If you don't just wear N95 masks, wear at least two masks at work because 
the less air you're breathing between the close contact that we are having the patients breathe in, having the patients breathe out, we're right there going up to units and things like that. We have to protect ourselves. The next thing is get yourself some really comfortable, breathable, like leggings. Um, I can link some off of Amazon. I just buy the $5 pair from Walmart because I wear them under my scrubs. I wear them under my scrubs. Let me say that again. I wear them under my scrubs because when I get home, or I'm sorry, when I get off work, um, you want to go into your car and you don't want to have the same type of pants that you just saw Joe Blow with when he was coughing and now you got all his germs on you or maybe you spilt something or everything you touch at the hospital is dirty. Like, it's nasty. So... Before you get in the car, you spray your shoes with Lysol, you put that in a plastic bag, and then you take your scrub pants off and you have your leggings underneath. So you're not wearing the same pants in your car where your family, your kids, where you sit. You're not contaminating or cross-contaminating that area with from things from the hospital. Now you're getting into, into the car and now your seats are dirty, now, you know, what have you. Anyways, to bypass all that, take your scrubs off, Put them in a bag so when you get home, you can immediately put whatever's in that bag into the washing machine. Um, the next thing is a head covering. I bought some off of Amazon and they look like this. They're little hats and you wear them on your head like this. And if you have a ponytail in the back, there's a hole for the ponytail. Um, I suggest you just tuck all your hair in and you tie it, right? And my hair is covered and I don't have no issues about germs getting on my head. I could just take this off when I'm done and put it in that bag and I can wash it. The other thing about these have buttons so it saves your ears from the mask. So when you put the mask on, it clips on the buttons here and you don't have to worry about your ears hurting afterwards. Isn't that great? And then you can just take it off when you are done with work. And this, grab it from the inside. And then when you grab it from the inside, you want to um, like fold it inside out. And this goes in that bag. So then you have your scrub pants. And I wear a tank top underneath my scrub top too. And I take that off before I get into my car. That's just, and I also, if you don't wanna do that, wear a lab coat, buy a lab coat. I'll link one of those as well. Wear a lab coat to your externship, working out there because at least the lab coat is touching the patient, not your clothes. And you can take the lab coat off if you wanna still keep on your scrubs. But tank top and some stretch pants underneath your uniform, um, that will, you know, do the cross, stop the cross contamination. You could take those clothes off when you get home, but at least they haven't been on or touching a patient, touching a seat, sitting in a seat. You had your scrub pants, your hat, and your shoes that you sprayed Lysol in, ready to go. Um, and when you get home, you just dump that into the washing machine, wash it, and you're done. And you're, li you're limiting the germs transfer, if that makes sense. So, I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I am glad to be back with you guys. I'm so excited. Let me know what you're doing for Christmas down below. Something better I try to fix things